What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So with all the things that have been going on with Shiba Inu since I made my last exit plan video, people are asking me um, if anything has changed, if I have any uh, desire to sell early or I'm getting out of Shiba Inu entirely because of everything the ecosystem devs have done or have not done. And uh, honestly, I don't think it has changed a crazy amount, but it has changed with the uh, level that I'm looking to sell initially, right? I did end up buying more Shiba Inu recently for a short-term gain, so you're gonna see that within this breakdown. But that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how this all has changed um, and what I really expect from it. Now, there's no way that I'm sitting here expecting, you know, $100 million or anything like that. Like I was expecting in the past that we would have all these other businesses and things that would launch that would create some sort of larger burn, but we did not have that, right? They ended up launching a lot of things that did nothing for Shiba Inu at all. You thought you would have the metaverse that would burn a lot, you know, NFTs that would burn a lot, different partnerships that would burn a lot, you know, all of these different things. And they just didn't do what... I expected or anybody really expected them to do. So that's where I always talk about the variables that are in place. This is why I always say it depends. I never go a day without saying it depends because people ask me questions on whether things are gonna to get to certain places or whether I think we're gonna see certain burns, whether I think we're going to see a certain supply, all of these things that have multiple factors into them, especially in the crypto market, especially in Shiba Inu. So. We're gonna get into this. I'm gonna show you a little bit of an update for Shiba Inu because I'm not gonna do another video on uh, this uh, project here. Uh, eventually I will, just not today. I'm not gonna do like 700 videos on Shiba Inu today. Um, so anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are down in the description as well. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Perry8K and you know go ahead and follow me. I'll have some updates over there on a lot of different things. Um, but let's talk about this Shiba Inu project, right? Shiba Inu is currently at 0 .0000, uh, 11, 19. Um, We're seeing $245 million worth of volume. Um, we're seeing at a $6.5 billion market cap. Total circulating, total circulating supply is 589 trillion and then total supply, um, well, we're looking at 589 trillion for a total supply. I don't know why it has adjusted to where everything is added in there, but it should be 549. Um, for circulating supply. So let's just look at the total, 589 <clears throat> uh, trillion that is there in um, total supply. Um, well, looking at all of this, right? We saw volume that was way higher. We saw volume in the level of billions, right? Higher hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. And we thought, hey, if we had something that was going on with Shibirium, um, where we have a certain burn tax, we would see... $700 million or a billion dollars that would flow through that that project or that platform. And now we would have a certain burn tax every single day um, saying that this would decrease down a hell of a lot. Well, things have changed since all of those different predictions that we've had, right? I talked about it in the beginning of this video, talking about how we thought the metaverse would have some sort of burn to it. Um, we would see a burn with all of the uh, sale, uh, sales of land we did not see that. The Shiba Inu game, we thought we would have a massive burn with it. We have yet to see any type of burn at all from that. Um, you know, Bone, Lee, Shiba Swap, the burn portal had the most effect, which was mainly us. It was none of the ecosystem devs or anybody that created anything there. Um, it was all us that were burning things and businesses that were deciding to burn as well. Any of the burns that went through came from the community. The Ecosystem devs did none of that, right? They may have set up an opportunity for us to be able to burn easier. Um, well, easier for some people. I mean, it was the same method no matter what. You either had to go through your MetaMask or link your MetaMask. And if you linked your MetaMask, you were doing essentially the same thing if you just sent it directly to the burn address. But, you know, they made it easier. So um, it's the fact that they burned so much is all on them. They also didn't give us any rewards for that. 
which we could have used towards burning as well, which that was the plan for a lot of businesses to use some of those rewards to burn off Shiba Inu as well. So it's gonna be like a compounding thing, right? You're continuing to burn and it's just gonna keep happening as time goes on because you're continuing to burn and taking that uh, reward money and burning off that as well. Well, that didn't happen either. And now we have Shibiria and Shibirium is supposed to be not just burn based on a certain percentage. No, it's burn based off of the the fee, the base fee of, um, you know, bone or shibirium, which would be less than a penny. So it would be virtually nothing, right? It would, it would be nothing that we're having going to uh, the burn wallet from shibirium. And it's not really going to have a major impact unless they decided to change that. Now, with all that being said, has my overall strategy changed because I do have exit strategies built has it uh, changed based on the fact that we're seeing nothing that's coming out of that side well I wouldn't say like I said I don't think it changed crazy I think we're still going to have different selling points um, but we're going to see more aggressive selling points a lot sooner and then take a more conservative uh, approach as we get uh, down into the or up into the higher prices eventually now, uh, let me go into my spreadsheet here to show you this exit plan. So this is where I stand. I currently have 677 million. You're probably like, how do you have 677 million? I bought 421 million uh, recently for a, a certain uh, short-term trade. I was looking to get up to 0 0.00002, but now I can kind of sit on that for a little bit, I think. So it should be getting me hopefully to 0 0.00003, but we will go through that here. So it's either 0.00002 or 0 0.00003, and I hope it's the latter, but um, it, it just all depends on when I feel as though I need to take that money out and put it into a bank account and all that stuff and you know divvy out the, the funds to different places that they're supposed to go. Um, but anyways, 677 million, let's show you how this is gonna be broken down. So 421 million is gonna be sold at either 0 0.00002 or 0 0.00003. That's gonna be a difference to where we're either at um, a uh, an $8,000 or $4,000 gain, basically doubling my money or tripling my money. So either 12,000 or $8,000, not really gonna make a difference in the overall price point. Um, then we're going to see another sell somewhere around 0 0.00007, getting close to a drop zero, uh, where I will take out about 16 million or about $1,000. Not crazy, but it is something. I invested a total of $6,000, so I'm going to get to the point to where I can recoup my initial investment, which would be uh, right here. If I decided to take this $4,000 and it increased it and doubled it to, or sorry, $5,000 technically, to another $5,000, well, now I can be very happy with the fact that I have 421 million and kind of double that, right, into about $10,000. And I, since I invested $6,000, that leaves only $1,000. So by this time, I would recoup my uh, full investment and still have my initial investment in there as I was making these, this short-term trade as well as, you know, a profit as it does get up to 0 0.00007. So right before the other previous high that we got to uh, take out $1,000, then you see it get to a drop zero. Uh, once it does drop that zero, I'll take out 20,000 uh, coins, which will be $2,000, not crazy. Then I will wait for it to get to a halfway point uh, at which I will take out about 50 million coins um, and that will be $25,000. Then I get to a point to where right before it drops another zero, it'll be another 20 million coins or $16,000. Then once it drops another uh, zero, 50,000 coins, which would be $50,000 or sorry, 50 million coins, which would be $50,000. Uh, then you have another halfway point. That's what I'm gonna basically base it off of after that, but we're gonna see 10,000 coins that I end up taking off, um, but then 20,000 coins as we get up to that uh, 0 .0000 or 0 .008, uh, right before you get to a penny, so 80% of a penny. Then when you do get to a penny, I'm taking out 35 million, which will be 350,000. Um, so you take out that for 160, 350,000 right there. And, uh, obviously that would be amazing if I can see it up to that point, which would be $666,000 there. Um, and then you start to get into the places where people, I guess, don't believe we can even get close to, but as we get up to these levels, I will start taking half of what we have, uh, close to it. So I'll take 15,000 here, which will be 1,000, 1.5 
I said 15,000, 15 million here. And I will uh, have 1.5 million there, 10 million here, which would be 2.5 million here. Uh, 5 million here, which would be 2.5 million here, 2.5 million, which will be 1.8 million there, and then and so on and so forth. And I'll keep taking half as time goes on. Um, and ultimately, max profit would be somewhere around nine uh, million dollars. Expected profit would be about six hundred sixty-six thousand dollars, and real reality will be around fifteen thousand dollars, which could be you know in this range of uh uh point zero 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 two which um if if we don't have any type of burns that's where i factor that into if we see no burns if we see it stay at the same rate we see no um you know utility and all of that that could be a range that we end up getting to which i end up getting my initial investment i end up getting my initial investment plus uh, a little bit more um, and you know, my initial investment was $6,000. So if I have $15,000, I'm like $9,000 worth of a gain. So it can be anywhere from $9,000 worth of a gain to $9 million worth of a gain, which would be amazing. And it is a very large range, but that's what makes it so interesting, right? You invest a, a little bit of money to potentially gain a hell of a lot of money, but in, in uh, turn, you will still be able to gain uh, a crazy amount of money there, turning your six thousand dollars into maybe a or three thousand dollars or whatever it is, right? Four thousand into a ten x, and maybe it'll be forty thousand dollars worth. Um, so uh, ultimately, right, and that's just taking this, right? That'll be fifteen thousand dollars. But if I decide to cash out the whole entire thing at that point, it would be worth twenty four thousand dollars. So it would be twenty four plus everything that I gain here, which would be about thirty seven thousand dollars. So still. Um, that would be the regular profit, but then I would also cash out whatever else is left. So even if I do get to uh, this point to where I'm, I'm cashing out $350,000, I still have 70 million uh, coins that's left. So I can cash out another 70 million. And if I cash out another 70 million, it would be 700,000 that I would gain on top of that $666,000. Does that make sense? So then, you know, it would be what, $1.3 million that we would have there. So turning, you know, $3,000 into $1.3 million, turning, uh, sorry, $6,000 into $1.3 million or turning $6,000 into $9 million. Um, that's the overall goal. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Has your plan changed because of all of the things that have happened with Shiba Inu, the ecosystem devs, the community, and everything there. I still think that all of these levels can happen. Um, changing the game with uh, exchanges and maybe having exchanges that you can burn with, um, with what we're doing with Terra Luna Classic, that could change the game forever and see exchanges that are helping out communities. Um, but um, we're not there yet. So let's let's still uh stick with whatever we can whatever we can uh see actually happen there so anyways hit the like button guys hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell for more videos like this one also make sure you check out some of the links down below it does help out the channel i'm gonna get out of here and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya